What's happening, fam? I had something I want to tell you guys that's heavy on my heart today, and Snapchat kept cutting me off when I was trying to make the video. I can't deal with all that, so I'm sending you guys a YouTube link. So listen, what if you're a leader, not because you're on Level Up Council? What if you're on Level Up Council because you're a God-called leader? Let that sink in. That you're not on this youth council because Pastor Rob appointed you. You're on this council because God appointed you and he anointed you. Each and every one of you, I see the anointing God on your life. When you step into a room, I see atmosphere change. I see people's demeanors change. I see things happen that only happen when the God is calling one of his children to lead. Every one of you, not just the ones of us that are loud and outspoken. No, I'm talking to you right now. Whoever you are that's saying, yeah, but he's not talking about me. No, I'm talking about you. Start thinking about that. You're on this team for a reason and a purpose. And you are anointed and empowered. Take that stuff seriously, man. And think of that today. I am a leader, not because of some youth group, because of Almighty God. Because He's called you and made you different, made you set apart for a purpose. And He wants to see His purpose come to pass in you. It's powerful stuff, man. God does not appoint who he does not anoint. And he does not call who he does not equip for the fight. So think of that. You are not a leader because you were appointed by man or me or your peers. You are a leader of your peers because you are appointed by God.